Hello, and welcome back to the Cozy Arts. I am Cherish, and it's about time to get a little spooky. Today we're doing another crochet class. I'm going to teach you a very simple beginner-friendly pattern. I'm going to try to break down the steps as much as possible. For every crochet class, that day's pattern is in the description. Everything that I will do today will be in the description. Today we're going to make a cute little ghosty. See, I have a happy ghosty. And I got a grumpy ghosty, a melty grumpy ghosty, which honestly is kind of my favorite. I love you grumpy ghosty. So we're going to work on making our ghosty. And then in the next video, we will work on adding faces and like accessories. We'll see how many videos it takes to get through this project. Fingers crossed that we can get it done in two. We're going to begin our ghosty as we usually do with a magic ring. I cover this in more detail in the very first crochet class, which I will link here-ish. We want the yarn to be parallel on the palm side, then make an X on the back of the hand side. I'm going to take my hook, go under this first leg, over the second leg, and we're going to twist the hook so that it grabs this yarn, and then we want to pull through this space right here. And then I'm going to do that again, so twist the yarn over the hook, and then pull it back through this hole. I pinch this. I can straighten this out a little bit. So now I have... I'm going to go into the hole, grab this yarn, Pull it out, then yarn over. So I'm wrapping the yarn around from the back to the front. And then we can give the yarn a little twist so that it moves up under the hook and pull that through. So this is our first single crochet in our magic ring. We want six of these. Now the pattern is always in the description. I don't have the ability to film the entire process because my computer only wants to render videos that are around 15 minutes long. So I'm not gonna go over every single step, but the description should have the pattern for you. So we, I'm gonna teach you how to do every step, but we're not gonna go through the entire, every single stitch. So we've got one, two, three. You can do that three more times. So in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull three. And six. So now I have six and I can count the V's. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. I'm going to take this, I'm going to pull it most of the way, but before I tighten it, I want to add my stitch marker. So I have a piece of contrasting yarn. I'm just going to tuck it in and we're going to finish pulling this close. I finished pulling this so it's tighter and now our magic ring is a little circle. We're going to go underneath these two bars here. This is our first V. So we're going to go under the first bar and under the second. Yarn over. Pull it through. Yarn over pull it through. So this is a single crochet, but we want to do an increase here. So we want to do two. So we're going to go back into this same hole, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through. And now we have our first increase. The, for this round, we want to do increases in every single stitch. So we're going to end up with 12 stitches or six increases. So we're going to, now we're moving into this next V. So we're going underneath both bar, both of these bars here. One, two. And I'm going to yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through. That's two increases. So we're going to keep going until we get back around to our stitch marker. Now that I am back to my stitch marker, Going to count the V's to make sure that I have the correct number. One, two, three, four, five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Great. And I didn't really show you the Vs there. What about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's perfect. Um, I don't, I think that this hole is still a little bit too big for me. So before we get too much further, I'm going to just tug it. Now it's nicely closed up. With a stitch marker, every time we come back to it, we fold it over. So if it is in the, on the back side, we fold it to the front. If it's on the front side, we fold it to the back. So this one is on the back side, so I'm going to fold it over to the front. And we're just going to stitch over it. Try not to stitch into it and catch any of the threads. We're just going to tuck it into that little corner and ignore it until we come back to it. So now we're going to do a single crochet and then an increase. And we're going to repeat that pattern all the way around. So remember a single crochet. We're going underneath the two bars, yarning over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and then increase. We're doing a single crochet and then another single crochet. And sometimes when I come, when I go under, the yarn is, because of the way that I'm holding my hand, it yarns over itself. So it looks like I'm skipping a step, and in some ways I am. And it looks like my camera is getting overheated. So I think we're going to take a break after this row. So let's see. I was talking, so we've got increase. Okay. Single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase. Great. Now we are back at our stitch marker. So we're going to, it's now in the front. I'm going to fold it over to the back. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 stitches, which is exactly what we are expecting to see in the pattern. So the previous round, we did one single crochet, one increase six times. So we're doing another set of six. We're adding a single crochet. So we're going to do two single crochets and one increase, but if we just kept going and adding the one, two, three, four, then it would, ooh, this is very dirty. It would we give us a line where the increase is that we can see, and we're which is fine, but we are trying to avoid that because the ghosty is an organic shape, so we're splitting that first one. So it's going to be one single crochet, one increase, and then two single crochets, one increase all the way around until they, we get back to the end and then we should have one single crochet left. Okay, now we are back. We only have one stitch left and that is our single crochet, so that's perfect. Now we are back to our stitch marker, which is in the, in the back, so we're going to just fold it over to the front. And now we are going to, once again, add a single crochet to our set because when you add, when you have a group of six and you add one single crochet each time, it goes out flat. So that'll keep it nice and flat until we're ready to change the shape. So we are going to do three single crochets and one increase. One, two, three. increase and once again this is a set of six so we're going to do this five more times and now this is about as wide as i would like my ghosty to be so now we're going to start going down and for this we're just going to do a single crochet around so we're not going to have to really think about it it's going to be kind of like this is the time where you can put your brain on other things because you don't need to count uh, you just need to go around until you hit the stitch marker. But because we're doing it for 13 times, I'm going to have some countables so that I know 
when my 13 rounds, when each round is up, we can count it out. So here I've got 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I have 13 countables. So what I will do is I will stitch around and then take a countable away. And then we'll keep doing that until I have no more countables. And then I know that I am ready to move on to the next step. Your countable can be anything that you have on hand. Um, I use buttons a lot. I use pencils or colored pencils a lot. It's just anything that you have on hand that you can manipulate close by you. If I am sitting at my desk and working and I am doing something that has four or fewer repeats, then I have a little set of drawers that has four small drawers and I just open them up and I just close one each time I get back to the stitch marker. So it's whatever works for you. Because we are not adding and we're not decreasing, we're doing the same number of stitches all the way around, it's going to give us basically a wall. It's going to go just flat, straight down. So this is what adds our shape. And if we wanted the ghost to have a flat head, we could add a piece of cardboard here so that it would keep this flat. But because we're not doing that and because the nature of this is to be a little bit flexible, we're going to have a nice smooth ghosty head. I am back around. I have just finished 13 rounds of doing the single crochet all the way around. It's time to do another increase. So we're going to do four and then increase. One, two, three, four, increase. And then we're going to repeat that pattern five more times until we're back around. I want this to be a little bit longer, but I also want to leave something to sew a bottom onto. You can leave this open if you want to like hide things inside of your ghosty, but if you want to stuff it, we're going to need a bottom. So I'm going to leave this row here to be able to sew that bottom to and be able to make a nicer finish. So that means that we are going to be doing the front loop only single crochet. We're just going to do the same stitch all the way around. So previously when we did single crochet, we went under both of these bars. But for front loop only, we're just doing the front loop. And the front loop is the loop that is closest to you. So this is the front loop, this is the back loop. So we're going under the front loop, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through. So that's all we're doing all the way around until we get back to our stitch marker. We are back to our stitch marker. So we finished our round of front loop only. And if we look inside, we can see that we have just a whole row of these bars that we're going to be able to use to finish off our project. But for now, we've got one more, <laughs> one more step with this section of the ghosty. And that is we're going to add some scallop details. Move my stitch marker to the front, which I forgot before. All right, now we're going to do a slip stitch. So we're going to go under the two bars, yarn over, and then pull it through both of them. And now we're going to skip this stitch right here. So this stays empty. We're going to do a double crochet. So we're going to yarn over. We're going to put it through, not this one because we're skipping it. We're going to put it through this hole right here, yarn over. Pull it through, yarn over again, and we're going to pull it through until we have two, two loops in the hook. Yarn over and pull it through until we have one loop on the hook. We're going to do that again in the very same hole. So we've yarned over, we're going to go into the hole, yarn over, pull it through. So we've got one, two, three on the hook. Yarn over, we're going to pull it through these two here. One, two, so now we have two on the hook. Yarn over, 
pull it through. We're going to keep doing that until we have five double crochets in this hole. Yarn over, push it through, yarn over, pull it through, one, two, three, yarn over, pull it through, one, two, yarn over, pull it through, one. So one, two, three, we're going to do this two more times. Now we should have five, one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Skipping this hole right here so that stays empty. Just going to slip stitch right here. So now we're going to start that again. We're starting with a slip stitch. And then we're going to skip this one and double crochet five times into this one. This is a simple way to add decoration to the hem of items and projects. I'll make our little ghosty look a little extra cute. One, two, three, four. Because we want a cute little ghosty. And we're going to skip this stitch and slip into this one. And then slip into the next one. This kind of takes up a lot of space, so sometimes it's easy to think that this is this is not there. It's hiding there. We're going to skip it, though, and we're going to go into this one. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven scallops, and I'm back at almost to my stitch marker. Didn't quite make it there, but... Uh, we're just going to finish off here. We're going to pretend that this doesn't exist. The math just doesn't quite work out for us to get all the way there. And uh, it doesn't, it, it's not really that noticeable. And if it really bothers you, make sure this, this is the back of your ghosty. So I have snipped my string off, leaving maybe about eight inches. Um, it doesn't really matter for this one because we're just going to be hiding the excess inside of the, the ghosty. And now I'm going to just pull the yarn through a little bit and pull the yarn through again to finish it off a little bit. I'm going to shove it inside. So now we have the ghosty body finished. So now we're going to need to do the bottom, which the bottom is, the bottom is essentially the same as the top. But for the arms, this one's a little harder to start because it's going to be really small. So we've got our magic ring. We're going to only do three single crochets in our magic ring. So one, two, three. And we can add our stitch marker. Um, when it's this small, you can kind of just keep it in your head, but <laughs> sometimes I can't. So we'll add our stitch marker, especially since I'm trying to talk through it. My brain just doesn't want to remember all the things. And now this is going to be really tough. Um, the first round is messy and then it'll, it gets better. Now we're going to do three increases. So we're going to go under these, these two bars here. One, two, now we're going to, we're back at the stitch marker. <laughs> this part's really messy. We're going to do, why am I doing just a front loop? I'm going to do single crochet, increase until we're back. Increase, single crochet. So we can see that even though it was looking really rough at first, as we get further from the magic ring, it's starting to even out a little bit. 
Um, it's still not perfect, but it is fine. And now we're just gonna do one round of single crochet around. There we go. We can pull our stitch marker out now. And we're gonna cut leaving a long, long string. So we've got one little army done. Pull this through. Yay, I'm ready for hugs. We're gonna do that again. Thank you so much for joining me. Next week, we're going to be adding details and making our ghosties pop. See you next time. Bye.